Hello. What's up? What's happening? Welcome back for another Miles Talk 24 7 production today. The number two SAU Bulls sitting at 3 0. Take on the number nine Iowa Hawkeyes. And they have this freshman linebacker, number 57, Brian Russell. 80 overall, 86 speed, 80 tackles. Just a freshman there, adding him to what is already an impressive linebacker core for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Jared Davis, he's the all world halfback, 92 overall, 87 speed, but 94 acceleration makes him a fast fast man especially when he starts getting going john finner you already know about him baby he's a flat out monster four receptions so far in this season averaging 19.8 yards per catch and he already has three tds now he's gonna have to be going up against one of the best secondaries that we have faced all season long but that does not matter because we are here to stay unbeaten right now we are penciled into the national championship but it's way too early to think about that we just have to keep on doing what we do and look at davis he also has 91 break tackle as you see it right there as he takes that one up that got for a big first down. So second eight, they're going to go with the halfback pass. They're going to find Clemens, but he gets nowhere as Lewis is there for the big takedown. So now it's going to be 36 from the 48-yard line. Clemens is going to drop back to pass, but that ball will be caught. I thought we had a chance to maybe bat that one away. But they're going to get that one to the hands of Watkins. And that's going to be a big first down for Iowa. Now they're going to go up the gate again with Davis. But Davis, he won't go anywhere as he gets brought down at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. We send a blitz. We can't get there in time. But check out the defense. Our DBs are coming up big so far right here in the red zone. Now they're going to go to the wide receiver screen. But that does not work as Miller brings the man down after a gain of one. They set up for a field goal to kick this right down the middle. And it is now a 3 at the ball game. So we're on offense for the first time. Definitely want to establish the run. We got Jenkins. He takes this one along the left side. And that's going to be a gain of seven. Back to the left side again. This time, Russell is there for that takedown. And we barely get back to the line of scrimmage. So third down now. O'Connor rolls out. Has the man. And Finner cannot come up with the catch. He got hit as soon as the ball got there. And the SAU Bulls go three and out second and ten for the point three yard line. Clemens on the option keeper. He's going to pitch it at the last second. And Davis off the races. His first step is quicker than the hiccup. And he is gone. Ten nothing here in Iowa City, Iowa. And now we are down and we have to got to come back. And we can get the ball to Jenkins. He can't get around the corner. Only able to pick up a gain of three. 23 now. O'Connor's going to roll out. Still rolling, still rolling, still rolling. Finally throws it. And it's going to be caught by a finner who gets a foot and bounds. What a pass by Todd O'Connor. Adam Clark trying to get around the outside. But he's going to get brought down by number 57. That's Russell. We go with the option. And we're going to pitch this one to Clark. And Clark gets brought down before he can pick up the first down. So it's third and one. Direct snap. And Jenkins off to the race. He picks up the first down in the Iowa territory. Takes a hard hit at the 40-yard line. But now it's going to be third and six from the 35. Shotgun set. O'Connor looking. Throwing this one to the left side. It's going to be caught by Finner. But not enough for the first down. And we're going to have to set up for a field goal. And the 48-yarder is on the way. And it looks like it's going to be wide left. And that's exactly what happened. So we don't get anything off of that drive. We're still down by 10. Jared Davis, he is in the zone. They throw the ball to him. He's going to make that catch. Breaks one tackle. Fights forward. And he finally gets brought down. But after he picks up the first down, first and 10, from the 42 yard. And give us to Davis and nothing but white jerseys are there to bring him down. That's what I want to see. Clemens to the left side. And that's going to be caught by Simmons. And that is going to result in a very very nice catch out of bounds. So now they're going to go deep, and we get a pick right there by Smith. And Joe Smith gets an interception that's going to bring this drive to an end. And we're going to take over at our own 18-yard line, still only down by 10. So second and 11 now, O'Connor looking. He's going to roll out again. O'Connor going to take a shot deep. He's going to run it. He's going to throw this one. And that's going to be caught by Finner with the user catch. And now we're in Iowa territory. Beautiful pass right there by O'Connor. Had to put some steam behind that one, and that's exactly what he does. So first and 10 from the Iowa 48. Y'all going to give us to Jenkins. Jenkins up to the 40. Picks up the first down. Gets dropped at the 35-yard line. Setting up second and 10. O'Connor looking down the middle of the field. That's going to be incomplete. Looking for Chris Oliver. So now it's going to be third and 10. O'Connor, he's going to stop. Pop going to find where on the outside, on the out route. Makes the catch. And that's going to be our fifth first down of the day. Jenkins, he's going to go to the outside. And he 
got demolished on that one. Second and nine. Send up a wide receiver screen to Chris Oliver. Whoop! Makes a man miss. Gets into the second game. Picks up a big first down. So that's going to be first and ten from the six. Or first and goal. Excuse me, from the six. O'Connor, he's going to roll to the left side. Looks like he's going to tuck it down. And he's going to try to get into the end zone. And they said that he stepped out at the goal line. So first and goal from the one. Howard James gets into the end zone. The big fullback gets his second touchdown of the season. And that's going to make it a 10 to 7 ball game. SAU down by three. Over the middle. And a huge hit by Gerald Brown. Nice hit right there. But the receiver was able to hang on to the pass. And that's going to set up second down and three. They give it to number 23. Davis, he's able to find some running room. And he's able to pick up the first down. Now to go with Davis again and again. He's able to break tackles, but there's nothing but white jerseys around him, so he's barely going to get past the line of scrimmage. Give him a gain of three on that one. Second and seven for the 35. Yo, line. Down goes Clemens in the hands of McCormick. He's always getting a sack, it seems like, every single game. Going to the outside. That's nearly intercepted, but the pass will hit the grass and SAU takes over. So to give us to Adam Clark on the direct snap. Takes it to the right side. Makes a man miss. Gets into the second level and picks up a first down on the gain of about 17. So now we're going to drop back the pass. and go with the wide receiver screen. Finner, he's again trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's going to be a loss of one. Now they go back to the ground. Jenkins, he gets this one up. That guy bounces it to the outside. He's able to pick up the first down from the 42-yard line. Henderson to the outside now. And Henderson, he's able to pick up a first down. And now this ground game is working. We go back to it again, but this time we get hit in the backfield. Doyle with his third tackle on the game so far. O'Connor going to take a shot over the middle. It's going to be caught by Chris Oliver. Perfect pass by Tyler O'Connor, who has 100 yards passing in the game so far. Nice pass. Good job by Chris Oliver by protecting himself while he still went up high to go get that pass. So it's first and goal. O'Connor, he has time. He's going to roll to the outside. Has Finner in the end zone. Touchdown SAU. That's going to make it a 14-10 ball game. And that's going to do it for the first half. Now before the first half was over, I was starting quarterback. Clemens got hurt. So he's going to be out until the fourth quarter. He sustained the injury. I didn't show up because that was the only thing that happened. Anyways, back to the game. Second and nine from the 30-yard line to give us to Henderson. Henderson trying to get some running room, but he goes no it gets brought down after a gain of a couple so third and four o'connor looking to the outside now he's gonna roll to the right has some time throws one back across body nearly caught by chris oliver but that pass bounces off of his hand so brazo he is in the ball game and he is going to give this one to davis davis breaks the tackle davis off to the races and he will be caught from behind by Thomas, but he was able to break into the second day. He is getting yards after yards after yards. Just piling on the SAU Bulls front seven as he gets this one down inside the red zone. There's a flag on the play. We're going to check the flag after we check out the replay. Look at the running room that he got. Then he was able to run over a couple people. Not the fastest guy, even though he has a quick first step. He was able to get caught from behind by Thomas. And, of course, the flag is for unsportsmanlike conduct on Jared Davis. That's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Back him up 15. So, now it's going to be first and 25. But he's like, I don't care what I just did. Give me the ball again as he takes it to the crib. This dude is a flat-out monster. This guy, the guy from Oklahoma State, these running backs are fantastic. We get the ball to Jenkins. He's going to take this one right up the middle. He's going to pick up a gain of three. Speed option to the right side. O'Connor's going to keep it. O'Connor up to the 30. Up to the 40. Steps out of bounds at about the 42-43 yard line and now it's going to be first and 10 from there going with the option keeper and O'Connor failed to pitch the ball away when Russell was able to take him down Jenkins he's going to take it to the right side he's able to pick up a nice game against up third and two from the Iowa 42 yard line they go with a QB keeper and O'Connor to the left side has room Russell giving chase and that 86 speed is able to chase down O'Connor and force him to step out of bounds at the 34 second and 10 Clark to the right side Clark he's again trying to pick up a first down and he does and now we have this thing inside the red zone of Iowa down by three trying to make a comeback here as we find where but Doyle is there to lay the boomstick now take his seat to the right side on the direct snap makes a man miss gets brought down at the five yard line nice play right there first thing goal O'Connor gonna take it to the crib touchdown S A U and that's gonna be a 21 to 17 ball game 
as Iowa takes over to get the ball to Jared Davis. He gets up field and he's going to pick up a gain of nine. Gets brought down by Dickens for the fourth tackle on the day for him. Dropping at the pass as Iowa as they go up top and that pass will be dropped. That receiver forgot his hands on the bus. So third and one to go to the end round. He gets a block and then coughs it up. Jared Brown forces the fumble. Thomas is Johnny on the spot. And we have this thing going back the other way with a chance to, or, to add to what is a four-point lead. So we get the ball to Adam Clark. He's able to run hard, falls forward, and picks up a first down. Now we get the ball to Jenkins. He cuts it back. He's going to turn up field, and he's going to pick up a gain of about eight. And now it's going to be second and two, 21. Back to Clark. Clark going to fall forward again and has enough to move those chains. Now it's second and 12 from the 16. O'Connor, he's going to roll out. O'Connor has nowhere to run, holds on to the ball, and will be sacked from behind by Doyle. So now it's third and 13 from the 17-yard line. O'Connor takes a shot to the end zone. And that pass will be batted away. We're going to try for another field goal. 34-yard attempt is right down Main Street. And that is going to be a field goal that is up and good. And now it's 24 to 17, up by seven. And here comes Iowa back the other way to get the ball to Davis. And Davis takes a nasty hit. And that's exactly what you want to see from this SAU defense. QB drawn now right up that gut. And they're able to pick up the first down. Move those chains for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now they're going to go with the run play, but Gerald Brown is all over it. Let's go, man. So now they're going to drop at the pass to start the fourth quarter on third down. Going to find Johnston. Gets brought down by Miller. And we get the ball back. Second and six. We're going to go with the pitch play in the speed option. Results in the fumble as O'Connor pitched that one to Jenkins, but he couldn't hang on to the pitch. And now Iowa, they are going to try to capitalize on the first turnover of the day from the SAU Bulls. So second and one now. Drop back to pass. We'll find Harris. And Harris, the 91 overall receiver, gets into the end zone. And now this ball game will be all tied up as Iowa will knock down the PAT. So now it's going to be all tied up at 24-24. Let's see what Todd O'Connor's offense can do. Direct snap to Adam Clark. And there goes that stingy line back and forth all over that ground game. O'Connor takes a shot deep, and that pass will be batted away. And now it's going to be third and two from the 18. Y'all and O'Connor over the middle. Going to find Finner. This combination is freaking deadly. Six catches, 73 yards for Finner on the day so far. Henderson, he's going to take this to the left side. Makes a man miss. Gets in the Iowa territory. Move those chains for the SAU Bulls. First and 10. Jenkins, he gets the carry. He cuts it upfield. He's going to pick up a nice gain of eight. 15 carries for 91 yards for him. Now you go with Jenkins again. He's able to add to that total and get this one in field goal. Range 317 to go with a chance to maybe put this game away. But he coughs it up. And Iowa recovers the fumble. Fumbles have been a recurring issue for our starting running backs dating back to last year. And now Iowa has a chance to get to lead themselves here in the late stages of this ball game. Davis up the gut, picks up a can of eight. They go right back to Davis. He gets away from one man, breaks that tackle, but he won't get away from everybody as he gets brought down at the one-yard game. Third and two up that gut. Davis, Davis just gashed this defense. Huge carry right there, sent up second and ten. Davis again on the ground, finds a running room to the right side, breaks another tackle, gets away from another man, finally gets brought down by Miller. 2-10 to go in the ball game. Clemens to the left side, is going to be caught by Davis. He breaks away from a tackle, spin move, gets away from another man, then uses his speed to get into the end zone. That 94 acceleration is deadly, and now it's going to be a seven-point ball game. Iowa on top. They give us to Henderson. Henderson, he's going to get up there. Henderson, he's going to pick up a nice gain of 19. First and 10. Now O'Connor, wide receiver screen to Finner. Finner gets a block, runs into his own man, gets away from him, breaks a tackle, and finally steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Nice play call right there. First and 10. Henderson with the carry again. Henderson going to try to get away from the defense, but this linebacker court is fantastic. Wide receiver screen back the other way. Finner. He's going to use his speed to get away from one man. Breaks the tackle. Still on his feet. He's going to fight his way off of another tackle. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown. S-A-U. Beautiful play right there. O'Connor threw a nice pass on the screen. Get a fine finner. Breaks the tackle right there. Then it's just all hard by finner as he's able to get away from another man and get into the end zone. 114 to go in this one. Clemens, he has the ball. Going to find Davis in the flat. He's able to fight off of another tackle, but then help is there to bring him down. Second inches. They go with the play. Fick Fodgers went to the right side to Morris, and he's able to break a tackle, and now they're in SAU territory. 49 seconds to go. Clemens to the left side. Has a man open, but can't hit him. 
Second and 10 now from the 49 yard line. 44 seconds go in the ball game, and that's nearly intercepted. But it's dropped, so Iowa stays alive with a chance to take the lead. Well, that pass will be batted away by Miller. Excellent play right there. And now it's first and 10. SAU takes over. They, they surprise him with the direct snap. Up to the 30, up to the 40. Finally steps out of bounds. Nice carry of 21 yards by my man Henderson. Now O'Connor getting a look over the middle. It's going to be caught by Fitter. And we are in field goal range. All we got to do is hang on to the football. We give the ball to Henderson. He's able to get this one right in the middle of the field just how we like it. And this kick is for the win. It's going to be a 40 yarder. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. One of the best games of the season. Definitely a thriller. One of the craziest fourth quarters I've been a part of in a while. 34-31 is the final in this one. Now for the next episode, I'm going to be trying something new. I will be trying a face cam, live cam, whatever you want to call it. For the next game, it's versus, uh, uh, who are we facing? Uh, we're, we're facing Connecticut. It's versus Connecticut versus UConn. So not the most important game. But I want to test it out for if we get to the national championship. But I'm going to see you guys later. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And I'm out. Peace. That's awesome.